Thursday afternoon, and I am just now getting off of work. Okay, now I'm at a stoplight. I think the plan for tonight is I am going to try and make something with those peaches and those apples we picked the other weekend. We didn't pick the peaches, but the apples we picked. So, step one, go to Walmart, procure mason jars. Okay, peaches to ice baths. Okay, so the ice bath 50-50 worked. Some peaches I got peeled, I got most of those peeled. These just weren't having it. So you know what? This blender should be good enough to puree it. If not, it'll be a little chunky. We're not gonna worry about it. So now we're cutting these up and putting them in there. Okay, peaches pureed. Now they're going into the crock pot. Four, four, four. Now the recipe calls for cinnamon, cloves, allspice, and sugar. I only have cinnamon, but I also have pumpkin pie spice, so I'm just gonna pretend that's the same thing. All right, everything is in the pot and mixed up. We added sugar, we added my pumpkin pie spice. So now we're gonna cook it on a low for hopefully only three hours since it's quarter of seven. We'll check back. There's a car coming. Is that what that is? Yeah. You think of car thingy huh? Yeah, anyway. Um, anyway, look who's home and in a good mood. Off to Annapolis. I was just gonna say, my baking, I planned on making all of this stuff when I got home. And because usually the days that he goes to the office, he doesn't get home till like nine o'clock at night. So I was like, great, I'll have all this time. I'll make apple chips, I'll make applesauce, I'll make peach butter. This guy gets off on time today. <laughs> so all I had time for was the peach butter. What a butter. terrible thing. I know, it's nice, it's great. But. I've had really shit gas miles the last two. So now. Oh, well now that's interesting. We're red. Um, oh, we're the red because of them. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we're in a fun. car. Um, anyway, so we're off to the Apple Store to look at the new iPhone. Hopefully, do they have the new iPhones out? Yeah. So we're off to I Apple to maybe look at the new iPhones. I'm not getting one. He'll probably get one. <laughs> we'll definitely get one. I just got my new iPhone. because Why he's... wouldn't I get one? I get one because I have the upgrade program. That's true. I just signed up for the upgrade program. And technically program you do too. Two months ago. I got to pay for a whole year. Well, yeah. First. And I'm not paying for a whole year right now. I'm going to wait for the eights. Although I'm on a weird schedule now. No, this is good because I'll be like two months ahead when the eights come out. So it'll be perfect. Because they're not going to make a 7S. Yeah, next year is supposed to be the... 10th anniversary. Yeah. So, yeah, you should pay up so that you get on a better schedule. But I'm, like, going to be two months ahead. But I can pay up for next year. I don't have to pay up this year. If you want the 7, you pay up for the 7 this year. And then by the time next year rolls around, it'll already be a year. Or, or I could just wait and see what happens yeah, closer to true. next year. Because it could be on time. It could be late. It could, could be the next go-round. It could go -round. be exploding. Apparently, because that's a phone thing now. It could be. Did you hear that they don't want those phones on planes? Airlines, yeah. Yeah. They They're like, if you have a Galaxy Note 7, please keep your phone off, powered off the entire flight and make sure it's with you and not in your luggage. Well, yeah, because, I mean, how terrible is that, that? It's like a mini bomb that you're letting people take on your plane. Well done, Samsung. We finally get them to let us start using the things during the pre-flight checks and every other damn thing. And what do you do? You turn it into a bomb. Yeah, it's great. On a plane. Have you not seen the news? You're not allowed to have a bomb on the plane. You're not even allowed to say bomb on the plane. And you're having people put bombs on planes. Well done. You just took the soul. And this is why we're not Android people. Well, yeah. I actually, in my last video... 
on the way up here. I was like, we're Apple people. You know, we like this. It's streamlined. It's got polish. You know, it's it's a really nice thing. You know, you take, to each their own. You know, people like Android, but, you know, it, Apple doesn't have the new features that Samsung's do. I realize they're always ahead of us in features, but Sometimes in contrast, to be. ours don't blow up. <laughs> True. We will happily trade the features you guys get for the fact that our fingers are all here. <laughs> That's very true. No phone is worth losing your fingers. Although that seems to be a thing here on YouTube is that everyone... Or burning down your Jeep or any of the other various things that the Galaxy Note 7s have done thus far. It didn't burn down a Jeep apparently. It reported that. Interesting. Say hi to the internet. Hi guys. I am at my house right now. It's my mom. Welcome to YouTube, friend. displays out because occasionally they put the displays out early so bust that being said though there is a definitive upside that I walked in the Apple store and they're like hey how are you <laughs> and they didn't do that because they wanted to say hey how are you Sell they you did something. that because they they recognize us at this point so he yeah. I'd say we but he has a problem so now what exactly is the problem the people at the Apple store know you. No, no, that's not a problem. A problem is when you want an Apple device and you can't afford an Apple device. That's a problem. <laughs> okay, I'll give you that. So now I think we're just gonna wander around the mall, maybe try to find some food. We'll see. We're not here to get the mall. Well, not at the mall, but in Annapolis in general. Anyway, we'll see. So we decided on dinner. We left the mall to come to the town center and as for usual we came and got some Asian food. Steak and shrimp papachi and some sushi and it is delicious. So we just found out Sarah has never actually tried a mushroom before in life. I don't think. She doesn't think. So what we're gonna do is as it turns out we got uh, some hibachi and they got mushrooms. So, yeah. All right, so which one do you think I should try? This one? Oh, it's got so much garlic on it. All right. You might want the garlic to help with the taste. What do they taste like? Mushrooms. Alright. Oh, that's a lot of light. Down the hatch. Well, you know, the last video of anybody watching me eat was chicken, and that ended <laughs> very badly, if you remember. Well, hopefully, this won't end like chicken. What's the texture? 
it tastes like teriyaki, but it's the texture. I don't like the texture. It's like a... Shit, it stopped. I have absolutely no idea how much of that we caught and didn't. I'm not eating another one. You've got to eat another one. <laughs> you have to... Look at the clip. No, it totally didn't get it. Bullshit. Let me look at that clip. It, it definitely didn't get it. I'm, like, not joking. That was so gross. <laughs> so, as we were saying, Sarah's never actually had mushrooms before. And we have to, oh, shit, a plate that's got some mushrooms from the hibachi place. So, in order to figure out if she likes them, we're gonna have to sit there and get her to try one. I recommend a big one with lots of garlic. <laughs> Screw you. I'll take a small one. Everything's Everything is fine. great, thank you. Alright, I think this is the smallest one. Let's see if we can get that reaction. I'm not gonna like it. How do you know? <laughs> I have a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> what a face for something you've never even had before. I can't get past its fungus. It's literal fungus. But it's on your plate, so eat up. I'll make you eat chicken. <laughs> Needs more sauce. And some more garlic. Okay, ready? I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. <laughs> and now we have that on camera twice. <laughs> you asshole! <laughs> You made me do that twice. I should have looked at the camera. You made me eat two of those. I think so. Pretty sure I saw the other one. You said you didn't get it. No. <laughs> You're a jerk. I don't like it. I don't like it. So this is where we're at. It's kind of a nifty place in Annapolis. It used to be a real crap hole, to be honest. The parole town center, back when, you know, like a Kmart, I think, used to be here or something. But it's this nice little place. And people walking by. And if you go up there and make a left, you can get to Whole Foods. And if you keep going straight, you get to P.F. Chang. It's a <clears throat> nice little area. There's the, the beautiful blue mini down there. And then Ziki itself. So we just got this place. If anybody has been to this one, or this place in general somewhere else, tell us what it's like in the comments, because we're real iffy about going there. The last place that was here was kind of terrible from what we hear. Okay, we're done with dinner. You screwed up my smell. We got in the car and forgot that we had gotten tea. Oh, it smells mm. so good in here. The, the blueberry bliss with the almond am amaretti at Tivana turns into a, depending on which store you go to, a blueberry pie, <laughs> which it doesn't smell like blueberry pie. It's or, too dark in here. Or, instead, uh, it could be a blueberry muffin, which it smells and tastes just like a liquid version of. It's a muffin. Plus, my caramel, like, on top of that, helps. It smells so good. Yeah, Ooh. perfect. Alright, I think we are going to call it a night. Finally, I finally finished my peach butter. I'll let you know how that turns out. But um, it's late. I think that's going to be our Friday vlog. And we will see you on Monday.